we're celebrating the France 24 Observer's 10th anniversary this year. To mark this occasion, we want to introduce you to some of the people who have helped us tell many stories from their countries. Our journalist Jamel Belayachi called our observer Lina Benmeni, a blogger and an influential figure in Tunisia's revolution. Hello, Lina. Hi, thanks for inviting me. In December 2010, you went to Sidi Bouzid, where you filmed the very first protests demanding President Ben Ali's resignation. Yes. And I saw the police shoot live bullets and use tear gas on youth who were protesting peacefully for the vast majority. That same day, I traveled to Regab, where protesters were killed. I met with families of some of the killed protesters. In March 2012, you covered the protests by those who were wounded in the revolution. They were angry that the government hadn't kept their promise to compensate them. They organized a peaceful protest in front of the Human Rights Ministry. This sit-in lasted for weeks. The Inada movement was in power at the time, and it promised to compensate them. But sadly, up until today, they continued continue to protest because they still haven't received anything. In 2016, you launched a campaign to collect books for Tunisian prisoners. Why did you do this? I wanted to fight radicalism, for which prisons are a breeding ground. I decided to do this through books. Books allow people to travel and expand their minds. They teach people how to think critically. This is an idea my father and I came up with. We collected more than 30,000 books, which we distributed in several prisons. We also want to create libraries in other prisons. Thank you, Lina. Goodbye. Thanks.